What am I, Alex Jones or something? Why are you laughing at me? I fail to understand why you people keep laughing at me. Is it the glasses? The teeth? It's the teeth in me. Logan Show to bring you the following Perry Logan Show. <laughs> Perry Logan Show. Yes. Whew. Hey, I perceive the irony that I, Perry Logan, am always saying that, well, we're gonna have to shake down the one percenters. What the world is all about here on November 13th, 2011, is that we're gonna have to shake it down. Oh, I love it. We're gonna have to shake down the one percenters and the corporations because they're hogging the money and strangling our society. It's a public health problem. Well, <laughs> and I perceive the irony that on the one hand the uh, Occupy Wall Street folks are running into some trouble with authoritarian types in government, cops, some of the authoritarian cops and authoritarian ma mayors, and you know, just authoritarian big mouths all over the web, and authoritarian big mouths at Fox News, whom we love. Well, authoritarian big mouths and just nasty authoritarian types are giving them a hard time. And there is an irony, I, I understand. I'm willing to look foolish. <laughs> Stop laughing. Please, you gotta get this show going. Stop laughing. It's like, it's, it's like, it's like infected. You hear laughter everywhere. You hear laughter? Is it just me? Stop laughing. Are you laughing? Because if you are, you have to stop. I perceive the irony that, the, that I, Perry Logan, see the only nonviolent way to shake down the one percenters and corporations is through strong government. <laughs> Even as our government is like, you know, a crazed servant, like kind of a big giant robot serving the corporations. Visualize our government as a giant robot serving the corporations. Giant robot! <gasps> Giant robot! Oh! Giant robot! Look at all these giant robots! Visualize your government as a giant robot entirely and schizophrenically separated from the rest of society. It's a field day for the heat! Whoa! The giant robots! The giant authoritarian robots wandering everywhere. I hope you see the symbolism here. Woo! I hope you're not having too much fun to see the symbolism. But even in the midst of all these monstrous robots eating our lunch, buying our government, destroying the planet, and all the rest, you have to realize that we gotta shake the one percenters down. And the corporations too. And the only nonviolent way to do that is with strong central government. Hopefully democratic. We totally want it to be democratic. This is as sweet. Aww. The preceding announcement was brought to you by the evil giant robot of government. <laughs> evil giant robot of government. No. Evil giant robot of government. No, no, no. <laughs> evil giant robot of government. No.
A field day for the heat. That's a line from one of my favorite songs. One of my favorite songs is called For What It's Worth, and it has a great line in it called What a Field Day for the Heat. Great line, yes? Great line, yes. Great song, yes. And I took my title there, The Heat Being the Police, and we're not intending no disrespect for police. They're sometimes called The Heat. <laughs> That's what the deal is. And uh, the song, as you well know, is about uh, people hitting the streets. It was a song from the 60s uh, about people hitting the streets. And now it's 2011, November 17th, I believe, and they're hitting the streets even more. Look at this. That's people hitting the streets. That's Americans hitting the streets in city after city. I am, of course, talking about Occupy Wall Street. This is a show beamed out to the future. You are from the future. You know how this turns out. And right now we've got our hopes up. Many of us have our hopes up that, Wall, that Occupy Wall Street can uh, possibly save the nation. I don't know. That's asking a lot of a bunch of kids. Well, they're not just kids, but the kids are leading it. The kids are the ones who got shafted. And that's why they're on the streets, and that's why it's a field day for the heat. Yay! Yay! It has been proven, it has proven to be way too much a field day for the heat. As us authoritarian types react negatively to the Wall Street occupation, watch this. What was so great about that? Watch this. Well, I thought those were both great. <laughs> okay. Uh, these are activist times in the United States, which is pretty unusual. These times being, uh, oh, I'm trying to remember, November 17th, 2011, I believe. And indeed, it, it is a field day for the heat. Oh. Well, and not to exaggerate. Okay, not to exaggerate the problems we're having, but briefly put, things have gotten so bad that even easygoing Americans are on the street. For decades, uh, those of us who've been following politics for a long time have been saying out loud for decades, when the hell are Americans going to hit the streets? They are just being so horribly fricked up their very center. Did I say fricked up their very center? Only one punishment for that. In more sober terms, uh, the economic disparity in the, in the U.S. has gotten just ridiculous, just so, to the point where it, it's so uneven, there's no more democracy. It's just... There's no more making a living. There's no more nothing. The government is now kind of like a... just goes off there and does what it wants. And, you know? We have a, just a classic case of dysfunctional government. Amazing how this all just kind of like went... Are you okay? I'm just pointing out that this all happened in the last three years. Our name, no names... But, again, th things have just deteriorated, spun out of control in the last three years like this. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Well, let's do it again. <laughs> uh, uh, we're trying to have fun over things that are, are pretty terrible. And I just want to point out something that most people are reluctant to point out is a distinct and I would call undeniable, ineluctable correlation uh, between the advent of our beloved Barack Obama and uh, the, just everything has gone like this. <laughs> we're going to do this over and over again until you understand what we're saying. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I apologize for spinning you around like that, but it's just a point I make that no one else makes, so okay. Nevertheless, uh, well, now everybody knows, uh, perhaps it's good that things have gone so bad under an alleged Democrat. Because, uh, it, you know, people are on the streets in what would be an anti-Obama movement if they dared to speak their true name. Did I hear Perry right? <laughs> was was Perry uh, perhaps trying to say that the uh, Wall Street occupation movement is maybe a kind of an anti-Obama movement that is afraid to speak its own name? Uh, they would be afraid to speak their own name, you see, because like all good people, they are terrified at the prospect of a Republican president. Uh, we're all, all good people, are terrified at the prospect of another Republican president. And they are uh, therefore taking it easy on Obama and not, you know, burning him in effigy. They're not uh, picking on Obama because they would be afraid to help the Republicans. That's my theory. So, okay. Now, my punishment for having said that is this. <laughs> Yoza, yoza, yoza. You're listening to P E R Y Radio. Old Perry Logan, all the time. That was an incredibly weird groove by the Perry Logan band called A Field Day for the Heat. It should come as no surprise that our guest tonight is Perry Logan. Hi, Perry. Hi, Barry. So, Perry. Yes, Barry. What do you mean when you say it's a field day for the heat? Well, Barry, unfortunately, there are a certain number of people in any society who could be called authoritarian types. Authoritarian types? Yes, there are always a certain number of people who might be called authoritarian types. I burst into your visual field. Ha! I transcend the bonds of radio. Barry, uh, there are a certain percentage of people in uh, any society who could be called authoritarian types. <laughs> I'm referring to a real thing. There is a real psychological designation. I don't think it's like official, but there's a concept in psychology of the authoritarian personality, or, you know, like maybe even a disorder. <laughs> like I say, I, I, I think it's not in, in concrete. But some psychologists have suggested there is a personality type. And it's usually, it's called the authoritarian personality. And the best way to describe it would be to simply say a visualized Dick Cheney. This is Dick Cheney. You visualize me. Now I'm going to shoot you in the face. This is Dick Cheney. Maybe I'm an authoritarian personality. I will shoot you in the face and make you apologize for it. Oh. That scared me to death, that was Dick Cheney. Well, Dick Cheney, in all seriousness, uh, could be cited as a good example of the authoritarian personality. Now you know. <laughs> Do I even have to go on? Uh, Dick, love the guy, uh, will, let's just put it this way, he will shoot you in the face and make you apologize. Right, Dick? Damn yeah, right, Perry. Get your face in the way of my gun, I'll shoot you! I'm Dick Cheney, I'm an authoritarian personality, I'll shoot you!
are watching a field day for the heat, starring Larry Logan. And now, Mr. No Nonsense. Hello. This is Mr. No Nonsense. Well, maybe a little nonsense. Would you people just get your feet on the ground and admit that the only way we are going to, I don't know, decoagulate, deconstipate, deconcentrate, shake down the one percenters, the only way we're gonna shake down the one percenters and the corporations, which is what it's all about, is with some kind of government. Huh? Hey, hmm, love that, I love that. Don't you see uh, that it's got to be nonviolent. We take this for granted, but we want their money. <laughs> I take it for granted that it's got to be nonviolent, but the fact remains we've got to shake the one percenters down. <laughs> Is this not it? Occupy Wall Street? I hope you're listening. <laughs> What we're all about is shaking the one percenters down. That's why they call me Mr. No Nonsense. Yes, yes. Well, that was a little nonsensical, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Come on, man, don't you think? <laughs> that our situation is that a few people have like, kind of grabbed all the money. You might as well envision us as being on a lifeboat. Could, could you imagine we're on a lifeboat and like one guy is hogging the supplies? What are our chances, you know? They would find a lifeboat with like seven skeletons and one fat guy. That would be the one percenter. This is analogous to our situation where uh, basically a tiny little like one guy. <laughs> Less than one guy. Uh, they are hogging the resources that we kind of need to survive. And we gotta somehow decompact it, and I, Mr. No Nonsense, <laughs> stop laughing. <laughs> if you don't stop laughing, I'll kill you. <laughs> Satire. <laughs> stop laughing. We gotta shake the one percenters down and the corporations down. And share the wealth, get the wealth back in circulation, save our whole country. I don't know exactly how, but I do know that one of the goals has to be uh, a strong central government. Yes, I want a uh, constitutional republic, a constitutional republic, but it's got to be a strong central government to fend off the corporations. This is something Jefferson said. Yes, Perry, you're right. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Jefferson, possibly the greatest of all the founding fathers. I am honored, Thomas. Do you have a question? No, Perry, I just wanted to say, yours is the greatest show ever. Thank you. In all truth, I, Thomas Jefferson, tried to warn you all against the evils of the corporation and the need to take to the streets. And in Perry's colorful phrase, to create a field day for the heat. Thank you, Thomas Jefferson. Come on, we're just gonna have to dance our way out of here. Can we get the camera down here?
I'm sorry, I'm sorry, we are having technical problems, okay? I'm sorry, we're having technical problems. And they are told me to dance about like an idiot. Hey, you want to hear something very surprising? I'm sorry, we're going to get your picture back real soon. But uh, it may come as a surprise to you to know that Barack Obama is an authoritarian type. <laughs> Hi, welcome to another unique... Perry Logan theory, and that is that our good friend Barack Obama is a, that rarest of creatures, a left-wing authoritarian, kind of a rare bird. Yes, well, Barack Obama is a left-wing authoritarian, as evidenced by his desire to be able to kill any one of us. That should have Democrats howling like beasts in a surreal landscape Oh! Just kidding. Please disregard that thing about howling horrible beasts in a surreal landscape. That could not possibly mean anything. Watch this. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> we went into the book. I thought we weren't going to do that. I thought we weren't going to do that this episode, no? I thought we were doing this. You are entering deeper and deeper layers of reality. That's what's going on. Hey. All right, everybody, now listen to Perry, okay? Right, sir, right, right, sir, right. We, my friends, are in the unenviable position of trying to wrest both power and money from people who have more of both than any group of such people have ever had before. <sighs> Do you get this? Right, sir, right, right, sir, right. Thanks. <laughs> These people are not going to give up their power and their money easily, are they? No, sir, no! No, sir, no! No way. And we do want to do it non-violently, right? Right, sir, right! Right, sir, right! I didn't hear you, right? Right, sir, right! Right, sir, right! We would never commit violence, right? No, sir, no! No, sir, no! But we are in the unenviable position of having to shake the one percenters down. Do you see that? Right, sir, right! Right, sir, right! Are you sure? Right, sir, right! Right, sir, right! We are in a situation of having to save the republic. Save the public health, the environment, the, the government, everything is on the line. There is only one answer to our problems. We have just got to drain the fistulating pustule of carbuncular wealth packed in a constipated manner in the hands of just a few people. It is a public health problem. Get it? Right, sir, right! Right, sir, right! Okay. So, we're not going to commit violence, right? No, sir, no! No, sir, no! But, we're going to shake down the one percenters, right? Right, sir, right! 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 Now, does anybody know how we're going to do that without using violence? Okay, guys, uh, just government, a strong central government is going to have to do it. To make a long story short, 
About 30 years ago, Reagan weakened the government, and the corporations have been running the show ever since. Understand? Right, sir, right! Right, sir, right! Are you sure? Right, sir, right! Right, sir, right! Are you sure you're sure? Right, sir, right! Right, sir, right! Right, sir, right! Right, sir, right! Okay, and uh, did you enjoy this show? Right, sir, right! Right, sir, right! Are you gonna watch every Perry Logan show? They're all on the web, you know. Right, sir, right! Right, sir, right! Right, sir, right! Right, sir, right! Oh, I love my yes men, but I'm just uh, pointing ahead that we're in a kind of a field day for the heat situation. Got it? In the sense that authoritarian types serving the one percenters are going to make it a little tough for us. Uh, you've been doing great so far, Occupy Wall Street. The rest of us got to help them spiritually and in any way we can. Okay? Are you gonna help the Occupy Wall Street folks in any way you can? Thanks, boys.